Hello there everybody, it is Tegan here again today and for this video I am going to be talking about something very, 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 very exciting that has happened to me within the last few weeks. Okay, so if you have never watched like any of my videos in the past, then you might not know this, but basically 5 Seconds of Summer are my favorite band. I love them with every single piece of my heart. I love them so much. And I've been a fan for about five or six years and I just love them a lot, right? Okay, so they were recently in Australia for their Meet You There tour. And I saw them in Brisbane because that is where I am from. I actually saw them just a little bit ago. I did a little bit of a vlog when I went to Melbourne to see them for their Five Sauce 3 tour, but this was for their actual album. So their album Youngblood came out and they did a tour touring their album. So th this is a bit of a intense and stressful and long story, so I hope you guys are ready. But if you would like to hear the story of how I met them because I did end up meeting them and seeing them in concert then keep watching. So basically I had a friend that flew up from Cannes to go to the show, Rachel. She flew from Cannes to go to the Brisbane show because Five Sauce weren't coming to Cannes and we decided that we were going to start camping out on Thursday night to get a good spot for sound check because we did have sound check for this show. So the show is on Saturday and we got to the venue on Thursday morning. We lined up the entire day of Thursday and then that night when we were all about to go to sleep there was a five of us there yeah we were about to go to sleep and police came and told us that we had to go so we all left and went home. I went to my sister's house because she lives in Brisbane and so I didn't have to come all the way home. So we weren't allowed to line up until early, 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 early morning the day of the show, which kind of sucked, but oh well. So me and my friend Mickey and my friend Rachel, we all decided that we would go to the airport on Friday to try and meet Five Sauce because we did not know whether or not they were going to be flying in on the Friday or the Saturday. So the show before ours was Sydney, which is where they're from. So we kind of thought that they would fly in on the Saturday so that they would have extra time in Sydney with their families, but we weren't entirely positive. So we decided to go to the airport on Friday and we went to every single gate, Virgin Australia gate, coming in from Australia on Friday. We were there for 17 hours on Friday. I walked a lot. <laughs> I think I walked like 20,000 steps or something. It was something insane like that. Five Sauce did not come in on the Friday. We were there until 10.30 p.m. Friday night. We were the last three people at the airport at this point and we were just waiting and waiting and we waited until the last flight that came in and they did not come. So we left and went home that night. So the next morning, me and Rachel went and lined up at the show. We got there about 3 or 4 a.m. and started lining up for the show. And I had told Mickey that I would go back to the airport with her on this Saturday because while I would love to get front row for Five Sauce, I've already been barrier for Five Sauce, so I would much rather try and meet them and meet them than be front row again, although I would love to be front row again, obviously. But I told Mickey I would go back to the airport with her on Saturday. I got to her hotel about 6 and we drove up to the airport and got there around 7 a.m. or just before 7 a.m. So we were the first people there. It was just us for hours and we were honestly pretty confused because we thought that there would be so many people there. We were honestly very very confused as to why we were the only people there but we just kept thinking like what if what if like we're the only people that meet Five Sauce. Like, what if Five Sauce come in on one of these flights where nobody's here and we are the only two people here to meet them? Like, that would have been insane and incredible. That did not happen. Um, <laughs> a few hours passed, we didn't hear anything. And then I got a message from somebody that I know in Sydney saying that they had just met Five Sauce at the Sydney airport and that Five Sauce were on their way to Brisbane. Like, Oh my god, that message, honestly, my heart just started pounding so 
much. I was not okay because then we actually knew when they were coming in. Like we knew the exact flight that Five Sauce were going to be on. Okay? Okay? Yeah? All right. Um, so we went over and waited by the gate that we knew that Five Sauce were going to be coming in on and there was quite a few people there. There was probably about 25, 30 people at the airport which was pretty insane and me and Mickey honestly did not think that they were we were going to meet them. We thought that they were going to tarmac which means that they go underneath the plane rather than coming out through the gate because there were so many people there. We did not think that we were going to meet them. But the lucky thing was was that on the Friday when we were there all day there was a lot of younger people there like a lot of younger fans there who would have freaked out if Five Toss had come out. But on the Saturday, because it was the day of the show and most people were at the venue lining up, it wasn't as bad. Most of the fans there were the older fans. So we were pretty lucky in that sense, but there were like 30 people there. So we were pretty like worried that we weren't going to meet them. And like, honestly, we had been there for like 23 hours at this point and our hopes of meeting them had kind of diminished a little bit, but we kept our heads up and we were like, this they're gonna be on this flight so either they're gonna come out with all of these people or they're gonna tarmac we're gonna know either way that they're in brisbane so luckily nobody lined up at the gates because on the friday everybody had lined up like along the sides of the gate which immediately told the people at the airport that there were fans there the one thing i didn't mention on friday one of the times where we were all lined up at the gate, there was probably like 30 of us there and we were all lined up at a gate that we thought the five sauce were on. And Scotty Tweedy walks out from Prank Patrol and we're like, what the hell? Like, what even is this? So he like walks out with a crowd of people and my friend Mickey taps me on the shoulder and is like, is that Scotty Tweedy? And I was like, oh my God, it is. And he sort of just like looked at us and we all sort of like waved at him and then laughed because it was such a coincidence that he was on this flight. And like, he probably was like, why are all these people here? But like, it was such a strange coincidence. Like what the actual hell? <laughs> Back to Saturday, right? So we all sort of just like spread ourselves out and as the flight was coming off, we lined up along the back. So we weren't lined up along the actual gate, but we were, we were lined up because we wanted security and stuff to know that they could bring them out and that we were going to be civil and that we were lined, in a li lined up in a line and all this sort of stuff. So we were all lined up. I was at the front of the line because me and Mickey had obviously been there for the absolute longest. So we were at the front of the line and we see Five Sons walk out of the gate and my heart instantly jumped up to my throat. So first I saw Luke and Ashton and they smiled at each other and were like, oh, there's people here. And then I saw Michael and Michael's my absolute, like one of my favorite people in the entire world. And I saw him and oh my God. And then Callum walked out and all four of them were there. And I honestly was shaking so much. I was shaking so much. So Michael turns to me, I hug him, and then he goes, should we get a photo? And I was like, yes. And then I asked him if he could take it because I was shaking so much. And he was like, let's do it. And so we got the photo and he saw that it was on video. He's like, it's on video. Woo! <laughs> He's so cute. And then he was like, nice to see you. And yeah, I met Michael Clifford. Like, that's still so strange to me to think about. Take some photos? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. Could you take it? I'm sorry. I'm sure. like, it's on video. Woo! Nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. And then I went up to Ashton next and he asked how I was going and I was like, good. And then I asked if I could have a hug. And he was like, yeah, yeah, nice to see you. Thanks for coming to say hello. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming to say hello. And my photo with Ashton is blurry because I was shaking so much and I held the phone up for this photo and I was shaking so much. And he smiles and he's, he sees it is on video and he's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Thank you. And then I went up to Luke next and I took my phone off of video and somebody else took the photo for us so it wasn't a selfie, it was an actual photo and he was so sweet and I hugged him and he was honestly so sweet. They were all so 
sweet. And I was wearing, um, you'll have seen it in the photos, but I was wearing this shirt, which has all of them as babies on it, right? They released this as like a flash sale shirt a little bit ago, and it's got all of them as babies on it. <laughs> and my friend pointed this out to me a little bit later, but she said that I was probably one of the first people that they saw wearing this shirt because not a lot of people had gotten it yet. I had only just gotten it. So I was probably one of the first people that I had seen actually wearing the shirt. And after Luke, after I got the photo with Luke, Luke was like, oh, I love your shirt. And oh, my heart. I went up to Callum last and I hugged him and then he took the photo on my phone and he's so cute and I love him so much and my friend Mickey said that the photo looks like we're dating and like we're about to get on a flight and she just likes to kill me <laughs> but yeah they were all so insanely sweet and then I really desperately wanted Michael to write out my tattoo and Mickey wanted Ashton to write out one for her she got him to write out kindness and I really wanted Michael to write one out for me and I had gone up to him and asked him and he said at the end I'll do it at the end and so I ended up going around to the end of the line and at the end of the line I went up to him he had told like three or four other people that he would do it but I went up to him first and was like hey would you be able to write this out for me and he was like sure and then he took my notepad and wrote it out for me and I had like written it before on a piece of paper and like put it into the notepad so he could see what I was writing out so I didn't have to like say it to him so I didn't mess up and so like all the spelling was correct and all that sort of stuff so I gave it to him he wrote it out and then security told him that they had to go so luckily I was the first person to go up to him and ask him but basically this is that's what he wrote out it says make believe worlds make us all feel alive which is a lyric from their song Airplanes, which is my favorite song off of Sounds Good Feels Good, their second album. And there's a few different reasons why I got it. One, because it's my favorite song, and so I really wanted a lyric from that song. And also, the actual lyric itself is Make Believe Worlds Make Us All Feel Alive. And this is kind of like a double tattoo, so obviously it's a five sauce tattoo because it's written out by Michael and it's a five sauce lyric but then also as you guys would know I love reading I love books I love make-believe worlds I love going into other worlds and they genuinely do make me feel alive and they make lots of people feel alive and so it's sort of like a double tattoo which I absolutely adore it and I <laughs> I do already have it tattooed. It is here. If you watched one of my last videos, I'm pretty sure it was the tag that I recently did. It's right here and that is what it looks like. Um, I absolutely adore it. The tattoo artist was absolutely incredible. Me and Mickey went and got ours together on the day after the show, so on the Sunday, and we went and got ours together. And yeah, the tattoo artist was absolutely incredible. He got Michael's writing perfectly it looks exactly like Michael's handwriting and I love it so much and it may be messy Michael might not have the absolute best handwriting but I honestly love it so much like I love that it's messy I love that it just looks like handwriting I love that I have Michael's handwriting tattooed on me for forever I love it so much and it's right on my heart and I just adore it with everything that I have like I just love it so much as I actually had somebody record Michael writing it out for me so I'll insert in that video here would you go to write this out for me sure. well so can you write mine out because Luke sucks <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me sucks too <laughs> He's writing out my tattoo. I like that. Thank you so much. So after we met them, Mickey and I, we both looked at each other and we both just burst into tears because it had finally happened. And I actually found a conversation with Mickey and I a couple days ago. And we it was from years ago and it was about us talking about how we both really wanted to meet Five Sauce and about how if we were to do it, 
we needed to do it together and like honestly that just makes me so happy that it was with her that I met them with and yeah it was just such an incredible experience and I'm so unbelievably happy that I actually got the chance to meet them because I know not a lot of people do and they are my favorite people and I adore them so much and having actually got to meet them and say hi and hug them and everything just means the world to me so we both started crying when we looked at each other we were both shaking so much we both like it's Jenny it had just happened and it didn't feel real and then we went back to the venue and I got back in line and I ended up being barrier for sound check and with sound check we got a few different things we got these lanyards which say five sauce VIP on them and it's just got a photo of them in the middle and then the actual lanyard but it says five sauce on it and then we also got this bag um, which is just a clear bag and it says five sauce and then the strap says five sauce and it can either be a bum bag or it can be a strap and yeah I ended up being barrier for sound check which was insane they played two songs they played Valentine and Long Way Home which Valentine they were playing in the actual set but Long Way Home is one of their really old songs which they don't play anymore on the actual set and getting to hear that was absolutely amazing and Michael sings the second verse in the song and he actually forgot the words to the second verse and me and my friend were like screaming the words and he was looking over at me and my friend smiling like semi laughing um, trying to remember the words like looking at us singing trying to remember the words which was <laughs> amazing and they answered a bunch of questions normally they only answer like two or three questions but they answered so many they just kept answering questions probably like 12 questions or something like that like they just kept answering questions and I got sassed by Ashton Irwin um <laughs> oops so basically one of the questions was what are their musical influences and Ashton said that they were very influenced by uh Australian bands because they are Australian and he said that they're very influenced by Australian bands and he said like Mascara Fall and Mascara Fall I love them but they broke up about a year and a half ago and I yelled out that they weren't a band anymore and Ashton goes yeah we get it I got sassed by the Ashton Irwin what even is my life <laughs> soundcheck was absolutely incredible I'm so happy I finally got soundcheck for the show because I missed out on it for sounds like feels life so I'm very happy that I was able to get soundcheck for Michi there and then we came out and it was a bit stressful it was a bit chaotic so basically we all lined up we all had numbers so we had like a numbering system going on but the numbers weren't kept for the actual line so there was a lot of people that left sound check early to get a good spot in line for the actual show and which I found kind of upsetting and kind of awful because we got out of sound check and we would have had to go to the very end of the line if we hadn't been to security like look we've been here since Thursday like this is really unfair and so we didn't actually get up to the very front of the line but he let us into like the middle of the line rather than having to go to the very back and it was kind of intense it was very very stressful I ended up finding my friends they were at the very front of the line and I ended up sort of like weaving my way up to them because they were like the people that I'd lined up with and everything so I waved my way up to them made it up to them when they opened the door so basically they had two tables in front of us when they moved those tables all hell broke loose it was a shit show it was oh my god so they moved the tables they opened the doors imagine 300 people just slamming forward all at the same time it was the worst like door opening at a concert experience I've ever had it was so bad they were like don't run don't run but I grabbed my friend's hand and we bolted to the front and I ended up being barrier in front of Michael she ended up a few uh people down for me but 
I ended up being buried right in front of Michael. I was right next to my friend Maddie, which was absolutely amazing. We finally got to experience the show from Barrier together. And yeah, I was directly, directly in front of Michael. Like, right in front of Michael. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, the show was absolutely amazing. They were all in such good moods. They were like jumping around. They were all so happy. And it was just an absolutely incredible time. And when it ended, I did not want it to end. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I got a few pieces of merch. I got three things. First thing I got was this jumper, which just says Youngblood 2018 on it. And the back of it is... <laughs> this is another thing that I got. I got this tote bag, but the back of it is pretty similar to this, so I'm not gonna show you the back of it, but it's pretty similar to this. This is the tote bag that I got. It just says Youngblood Meet You There Tour, and it's got a rose and five sauce on it. I love this a lot. And then I also got this shirt, which is the tour shirt, and I get tour shirts from every show that I go to. So it just says Youngblood Meet You There on the front, and then on the back it's 2018 tour. It's got a photo of them, and then it's got all of the Asian and New Zealand and Australian dates underneath it. So that's nice. I like that a lot. Um, and then I ended up meeting the opening act, which was M Mookie... Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But them live was absolutely amazing. The DJ guy was going insane and he was so happy and jumping around and dancing. His dances were incredible. And yeah, so I got a photo with the DJ guy. He was very nice. And then I also got a photo with the singer. And she was like, let's do this pose. So we did it. I went back to my sister's house and then the next day me and Mickey went and got our tattoos. And it was absolutely insane and incredible and amazing and it was such an incredible experience. It was very, very stressful, but it was amazing. Um, I'm so thankful that I got the chance to do it. I'm so thankful I got the chance to see them from Barrier for both Soundcheck and the actual show and that I got the chance to meet them, which is still so insane to me. I, um, my pop socket on the back of my phone is now me and Michael because... I'm trash. Yeah, but it was incredible and I'm so thankful and it was one of the best things ever. Five Sauce was absolutely incredible. I'm so thankful that I got the chance that that weekend even happened. It was one of the best weekends of my life and I'm so thankful for all the people that I spent it with. I'm so glad that it was those people that I got to experience it with. And yeah, I really hope that Five Sauce come back soon. I know it probably won't be for a few years, but me and Mickey really want to do the entire tour when they come back, so I'm hoping that they come back soon because I miss them so much already. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Let me know down in the comments if you've been to a show on the Meet You There tour yet, although there haven't been very many shows. But if you have been to a show, let me know, or just let me know if you've seen Five Sauce before. Or if you are seeing them in the future on the Meet You There tour, let me know which show you're going to. And yeah, you can hit that subscribe button down below as well if you want to be told when I post new videos. And that's going to be about it for this video today. I'm Tegan, this is Bookwormia, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!